Hey everybody, this is Jack and Tony Spermicelli again. We're going to attempt for the third time to smelt copper. Okay, we have again made a modification. We got a lid for this thing in two pieces. It's insulated and we're going to be able to slide it over in two pieces. Grab water. Alright, we got a ton of biofuel. My shades on. Alright, let's look. Can't Whoa! Wait. It's fire hot. I'm gonna walk over this way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead and hit that bellows. Bellows on. A noticeable difference. I'm gonna put some copper in our crucible. This is level. That's fine. That's level. It's just a shim. It needs to come up just a shim. Shem, Hashem, Japheth. <laughs> Who gives a shim? Cold as ice. You cold as ice to me. Look at that fire go. A little bit more. There you go. That's get hot, son. That won't catch on fire, will it? It's uh, metal it and called? dirt. You can see our crucible glowing bright orange down there. <laughs> that thing is orange. Yep, it sure is orange. Yep. Ain't no doubt about it. This uh, this furnace works. Whoa, what'd you find? Found some uh, fire tools. Oh, nice. Is a, a shovel, right? And then it looks like a set of uh, a set of yeah that, that's the cold tongues that's that's right. that's gonna come in handy. <laughs> I do see glowing glowing orange copper in there and that's making me happy. More experimentation and adaptation. Just trying to get that fire hot for longer. So this is where we're at now. We can't seem to sustain the temperature we need to melt that copper using wood in our furnace, in our apparatus here. So what we're gonna try next time, a bag of charcoal and constructing a feeding mechanism so we can put fuel in without having to uh, upset the, uh, the lid there. So what we're gonna do now is, we're just gonna smelt some more aluminum. Look at this. Chris, come look at that. Did it start to liquefy? Yeah, look at that. It actually did. Yeah, so we did get hot enough. We just weren't able to keep it that hot long right. enough. So it's just on the bottom there, you can see. Yeah, where it started to, to yeah. liquefy and bubble and smush down. Unless that's some lead that was left in there that stuck to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. All right, so we got a muffin tin we're gonna use for ingots this time. And this is what we're melting down. These are uh, aluminum, uh, gear housings for electric motors. That's the aluminum slag from yesterday. That aluminum has melted. We're adding more. You have to get it up. Here we go. One ingot. Woo! Two ingots. Three ingots. More than we needed, huh? Look at those beauties. So it's two crankcase bodies per right. ingot. Look at the slag. That is hot. So the slag I pulled off. Yeah, oh, look at that. More wood. Tony Spermicelli is going to knock out the muffins. There's one. And one of them's setting the grass on fire. Get it with your tongs, quick. Smoke we should it. be doing this over dirt. Yeah. All right, let's look at the little tiny muffin. He's too small, we're gonna throw him back. All right, this next batch is almost ready. I'm gonna get ready to do another pour. Yeah, I got a funny story for you. I guess it's funny. Remember that time I sold my guitar because some asshole broke up with his girlfriend? <laughs> Yeah, I remember that time too. To buy a cooler full of beer so I could be the big dick at the party. And then I get there, and there's an even bigger dick at the party. Oh. I tucked my tail, and I left in shame. That's what you get for trying to hook up with my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> nope! <laughs>